You know, I like that song. I think it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Good. Yeah, it's, it's by Cold Storage. It comes from, I think that's the original Wipeout soundtrack. It's not even Wipeout 2097. Really? Yep, yep, it's the original Wipeout. That is an ancient game, and you know what? It's amazing. I used to play I don't even know what I used to play it on, though. I'm it's been on everything. It was on PlayStation, what? Saturn, PC PlayStation had a version. Was, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's yeah. there's a new version coming out quite soon. I think. I yeah, think it's with the, it. the PS Vita or something along those lines. Yeah. I'll definitely picking one of those up. I almost imported one, but then I thought, I don't have time to play this. <laughs> <laughs> so why am I spending extra on importing a console that's coming out in two months anyway? Anyway. The countdown has now begun for the second game of this series, and I don't think you're going to see a boring series in this tournament at this rate, no. honestly. No. You're certainly not going to see it in this group, I'll tell you that for no. a fact. And this one's going to be on Daybreak. Yeah. This is going to be a good game, too. I Every game is a good out. game. What am I on about? <laughs> I'm like, no, no, this one's going to be Yeah, there aren't all that many bad games in this tournament no, so far, I've got to say. Damn good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to bring you Fnatic's Night End, who is currently one up in this best of three series. He is in the red trunks and he is playing Protoss to the southwest here on Daybreak versus his opponent, Millennium Stefano. He is in the pink trunks and he is playing Zerg to the northeast. I wonder if Night End will try and do something again similar like that. I really wonder if he will, because this map, it's possible. But the options are a lot more filtered to where you can hide a probe because it's just in the bottom right corner. <laughs> There's like no other options to hide it anywhere. Yeah. And even though in the last game we didn't really hide a probe either, so it's still possible. But from this base compared to Antigua Shipyard, it's, it's a lot bigger from, from natural to third or whatever. So we'll see. We'll see. It's yeah. good though. If it for, you know, I'd have to wonder if you repeat the same strategy. In the best of three, the psychology is very different. Isn't <laughs> what it? was that quote Nama had? Um, he goes, In a Teron TVD. I go cloak banshee every game. <laughs> that is my mind game, you know, because you don't expect it to come every game. So, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. That that's Nama Downward in a nutshell, yeah. isn't it? Downward T. That was funny when he said that. Nama's brilliant. He said it on Home Story Cup because yeah. they were talking about like different mind games you can have and what to do. What you know? Do you do the same again or do you not? And he just blurts out that <laughs> every game. <laughs> I love Nama. I love it. He probably would have been in this tournament, but we, obviously we knew that he was going to Korea. So, funnily enough, he actually got delayed. Did, did you hear the story about yeah. that? Yeah, that was it. That's, that's funny. Do, do not put your name in on your passport that's or your documentation. The same, I don't know if you remember the tournament in England. What was the uh, EGL? Oh, EGL. I go yeah. to my. I go. All right. So, all right. Very similar story. I go to my hotel and I go in. I'm like, all right. Hey, I'm checking in. They're like, what's your name? I'm like, Sean Clark. They're like. No. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's Sean Clark. And then I ticked, and I'm like, is it Diapolo by any chance? And they're like, oh, yeah, we have a Diapolo. I'm like, oh, my <laughs> God. Like, <laughs> the hotel had I know. It's like, by the way, have you got any ID for that? I'm like, oh, no. no. I'm like, you should, you should just turn on your YouTube channel. Know, I like, this is my monitor. ID. I grab his monitor. I flick it around. Like yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. If anyone anyone writes Total Biscuit, I actually have that written on my business card, so I can maybe get away with oh, that. But. I couldn't believe that. It's, it's funny what people do sometimes, isn't it? Oh. It it is funny. It really is. And I I have to say I've not had that happen. I don't think so anyway from a tournament organizer or any of the admin yeah. staff. But that is funny. It really is. But yeah. a plane ticket. That's you know that's completely different compared a hotel maybe. But a plane. Yeah, a plane uh. ticket. That that was probably not the best idea. Honestly, you've got to bear in mind how strict they are. Yeah. I mean, it had his name on it, but the problem is it had his middle, uh, mi middle, his middle name was his username, so it didn't match up, yeah. Oh, well, never mind. It, it happens. Apparently, he's now finally off to Korea, and he's going to be scaring the living hell out of some Korean Terran with Clogged Banshee. Yeah, definitely. Oh, nice. Where's his probe hiding? It's off. It is running. It's found some smoke to hide behind, potentially. Mm, Stefano is really good at finding probes. He is, yes. He very much is, but Ooh, he hasn't I, found that one. Uh, Sneaky you can little actually, bugger. Oh, it's going to get... Ooh, ooh. Ooh. He wants to try and hide it yeah. for as long as possible. Because if it manages to hide all the time... What's, what's that? he on about? Oh, he lost an overlord to the cannon. Oh, wow. Did he? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I was looking uh, at the probe, but yeah, he lost yeah, an overlord yeah, to we, the cannon. We, yeah, we were keeping an eye on that probe, which is now finally being found. That's but yeah, funny. That's oh, Stefano. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't know. Is he playing drunk again? And the probe did live, but it already knew about the third base, so it did get found out, though. Yeah, eventually. And it's going to see the second here, too, so... Yeah, it's... That is, that's uncharacteristic of Stefano running an Overlord into a cannon like that, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, some people just don't play 
100 percent all was, the time. He was concentrated on the probe, just like yeah, think, everybody else was. Yeah, as so. were we. I think that's probably what it was. Really, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was simply a case of he was he needed to kill that probe. He had yeah. to because the, if he didn't, there was a big risk of another six gate. Yeah. So that's something to consider. But that is probably not going to happen this time around. Uh, yeah, I doubt it'll happen now. I mean, I think Stefano's going to tighten up a little bit on his drones. He'll probably stop, you know, 45, 50 rather than 59. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, get ready for whatever. So mm -hmm. he was a little bit greedy in that last game. But nevertheless, we do have Stefano taking double gas at 40 supply. Pretty standard, just past the six minute mark. Really, really super standard. Uh, double zealot being made by Night End this time around. Oh, actually, no, cancels it for a Stalker. So could be doing something. Could be. I mean, where, where is his gas going to go? He's got 150. Could be a starport. I doubt it, though. He's not really a starport player, Night End. Um, not necessarily, no. No, not but really. But then again, you've also got to bear in mind that Night End is quite flexible in terms of his play style. He's definitely, as we've just seen, not a rigid player. He usually doesn't go six gate plus one blink rush either, but he did. Yeah, so it's good to it's good to have that flexibility in your game. Absolutely. It makes you a better player. Yep. And there is a Robo coming down first now. So we've seen a lot of variety from Night End today. We've seen Twilight Cancel first. We've seen six gate. We've seen um, Robo first now as well. So yeah, it's, it's cool. And he goes for double gas. So we're going to see Colossus play really, really fast here, uh, I think. Uh, I, nothing else really makes that much sense unless he throws down a Twilight Cancel soon. So, now this is interesting. He'll probably just play it slower to grab a third base. Meanwhile, we do have Probe managing to escape out, actually. Uh, but he's going to walk into an Overlord. So, really smart play by Stefano there. Good position for that Overlord, for sure. Yeah, he's, he, I mean, he's he, faking it out a little bit again. He's, mm. he's faking a six gate again. Because yeah. it's exact, you know, eight minutes again. It's the timing. Let's look at the drones. 44 drones now. So, you know, Stefano's changed his game. He's now building 24 lings for no reason. And we right have Night End taken up to Colossus, probably. So, I, I, very, very good. Wow, did, I have yeah. to, did he see that? Yeah, it, maybe he didn't, actually. I don't know. Stefano was moving that Overlord away yeah, there. He, he knows because he's yeah. building drones. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's a very good play from Night End. Very impressive. Yeah. Very underrated individual. Always, definitely, yeah. Definitely needs more exposure. Yep, and that's why we invited him to this tournament, because we know how good Night End is. We saw it. We had the pleasure of casting him in yeah. the in the finals of the DreamHack Winter. And you know that, that, I think, was one of the players people did not expect to be in the finals, yeah. especially considering the lineup there. You had the best of the best from America, as yeah. well as the Europeans and Koreans. You know? So Night End coming in third in that tournament was a big shock to a lot of people. Maybe we're going to be seeing, not Colossus, but maybe Immortals again. You know, like maybe. the three Immortal play we saw earlier. I didn't yeah. really like that that much, though. But obviously, he's not 800 minerals behind like he was before. So we'll That's see how true. it works that, this That time does around. help, yeah. In um, fact, you know, he's, he's forced his opponent into an awkward spot there. And it's so. actually going to work against what Stefano's doing because Stefano's going Roach heavy. He's got, you know, speed on the way, plus one on the way as well. Nine overlords because he's supply capped. That's one way to get rid of minerals. I suppose. Um, <laughs> 900 minerals are gone immediately. But I'm interested to see if we're going to see a Twilight Cancel come down soon because he can't really stay at 1 1 for that long unless he wants to focus on killing Stefano rather than expanding, which is something he may very well be doing, but he has 58 probes. He has to look at... Okay, there's the robotics bay. An Immortal's good, though. Two Immortals is okay, too. Yep. This is fine. He'll yep. take a third base soon, just not right now. Yeah, absolutely. The thing is, if you try to take a third base faster, the, all the lings that Stefano produced earlier to defend could also just, be used for a Yeah, exactly. Manner, you just so. throw it at you. And yeah. We've seen that happen an awful lot. Yeah. Some insanity stuff there. Uh, we've just hit 25,000 concurrent viewers. Hello, everybody. We're, we're pretty much doubling our records right here. Yeah, that, great. That's cool, because we want it to be the most popular online tournament, and we now, without question, are. No, nobody else gets this. So that's fantastic. Thank you very much for supporting this, folks, and hopefully you're having a great time. We certainly are. There's a bit of a mistake here, I've noticed. Nyan's only in two in gas on the natural, when it should be three, of course. And I think the units are blocking it a little bit, so we can't see. Mm. And I think he'll pick up on it now, but... You know, that's hindered his gas a little bit, and I'm, little, I'm sure yeah. he's surprised. It'll be, you, you'd be so surprised that you think, well, you wouldn't really notice if one pro was missing. Yeah, it makes a big difference, actually. Yeah, I, and honestly, I, I get very paranoid about that. Oh, so, yet, so. Uh, j just to make sure oh. that I don't miss one, I usually put nine drones into every gas, and that, that, <laughs> that generally Who's speaking... That chef? Uh, well, Chef did do that at uh, one point, yes. That's very, very true. But sorry, Chef. 
Chef would take it in good humor, you know that. He was actually laughing after, uh, after that game in Sharkcraft oh, 2 when that happened. Force fields. But the third is, yeah, it has to get canceled. It's good force fields, but... Yep, the force fields are good. Unfortunately, you can't uh, deal with both oh, of these at once. Oh, he's panicking, man. Look at all those force fields. A few too many. Uh, at least he stopped the roaches from going in. But yes, yeah. he did use too much energy there. He's able to do some damage. He holds quite oh, well, but yeah. Stefano is already controlling this game so well. He's at 71 drones already. He's still got this amount of units out. Yeah. Despite being supply blocked. Very true. You know, he's, he's controlling this very well, very well right now. And yeah. I love the multi um, attacking. He should have actually killed the debris and made it even harder to force field. And that's obviously going to wear the energy down. So, But yeah, this is a very, very solid play from Stefano. Fourth base up, Spire on the way as well for Corruptors. Yeah, very, very good play. Yes, things looking pretty good in that regard. And he's preventing the third base, more importantly. Yes, he is. And that's nine spying crawlers coming up right here for Stefano. Ooh, is he just going to tech straight a hive? Looks like he might. It looks like he might. He is. If he's building nine spine curls, there's absolutely no reason for that. Yeah, the only reason he'd want to Unless do it is for to hold a counter attack. On. Like, because I, he's denied the third base. Yeah, he may be thinking, well, Night End's forced into a big counter attack. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he is adding on more Colossus and more gateways. So, maybe yeah, I mean, you watch could, the game against Dark Force as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Very, very true indeed. Pathogen Glands is coming up, yeah, so he's not he's not rushing to yeah, Hive. That's interesting. But he has a, he has the option. I mean, he's got the Infestation Pit and he's got the, going to have the Spire up, so he could go Broodlord. Yeah, well, the thing is, that as a Zerg player, you have so many more excess minerals than you do gas, of course. Yeah. And that's one way to spend them, I guess. You just replenish the drones you lose and just build Spines. It's not a big thing. Spines are pretty good. You know? yeah. And in terms of defenses, I think Spines are my favorite defensive unit. That It's just it's great Ooh. to be able to have a nasty long-range attack. And hold that thought, because damage is coming, and yeah, Stefano is good. the one delivering. To try and do as much damage to the economy as opponent as possible, and that's quite vital on two bases. And ah, excellent! He's using my strategy. He's putting 26 harvesters into the assimilator. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the wrong assimilator, uh, and this one now only has one in there. So, yeah. yeah, that's very, very good play from Stefano, though. He's still got 26 harvesters in there. He's trying to clean this up, and actually, he's wasting a ton of mining time here. He's lost 11 probes through just like six, seven roaches, which are virtually nothing for Stefano. He's got four bases. He's mining gas on every single one. He can replenish them easily. That was a very, very good attack, even though so small. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, even if it had done no damage whatsoever, I would have said that's okay because Stefano can afford it. It did do damage, a quite significant amount of damage. It wasted a ton of mining time and killed probes. So, yeah, great. Absolutely fantastic stuff. And that puts Night End in a tricky spot. He's had to take this base so over here, spines. which... Spines? What is this? This guy's going crazy with spines today. It's, it's the Spine forest war. of spiny death right Look, here. he's just building the spines everywhere. It's a crazy play. What the...? He doesn't. He hasn't really got much scan information about the third base of Night End, which has been taken. Yeah, so. uh, I suppose he's just getting very paranoid about that. He goes for a full cancel on the spines because he knows that they can't get up in time. And he's still going to deal with this big stompy death ball that's coming down on his fourth base. And that's one more, you know, there's no way to look at it other than saying that that is a nasty, nasty collection and of units. And he can't really afford to lose that fourth base. Um, he kind of has to, Night End should force field him out and then just pick it off, I guess. I think he's just going to pick it off regardless. It doesn't yeah, matter if he force fields it guess, out. Yeah. Uh, Stefano would love to, of course, make him pay for that, but I don't know if he can. Yeah. He's getting out of there. There's Stefano may run at that third base now, though. He might, but... But he doesn't have enough. He's invested so much money in spine crawlers. doesn't really have enough units. Right yeah, now. so I'd, I have to wonder if he did drums. go a little excessive in that regard. Mm. I, it'll, it'll certainly serve him well Look later at the on, wall but... Of spines. It's incredible. It's literally the Great Wall of Giraffes. The like, Great Wall of Spiner is what that actually is right there. That's crazy. It's insanity. He is at Hive now, and he can go Great Aspire very fast, so... The thing is that because he's lost the fourth base, he hasn't got the gas to build Broodlords, which is the biggest problem out of all this. It's a bit stressful, isn't it? And right now we've got Knight just having a bit of a poke as much as he can. Trying to pick off uh, as many Corruptors as he can. I think the Colossus are dead with that many Corruptors. But that is a lot, an awful lot spent into mm. those Corruptors, which are now going to prove to be useless against the Stalkers, Zealots, and yeah. Immortals of Knight End. Knight End has hardly any intention to play late because he's not teching up late. He's not getting up extra upgrades. He's not building probes. He just wants to end the game very fast. Which is an interesting decision. You know, he has twice he's done that now. Against Dark Force, it failed. Now against Stefano. Um, it's interesting. Especially, I don't know. I don't even think it, it... I guess it could work. I don't know. There's a lot of units there. But it might. The Great Aspire is almost done. But he can only build, like, two, three, four Broodlords, maybe? Four Broodlords? 
Hmm. We'll see. Yeah, so and I'm then Brood Lords are coming, and then all of a sudden it's going to be like, come on, Stefano, you got six Brood Lords. But are we going to are we going to yell at all the Zerg players in this tournament now? It's going to be come Maybe. on, Zerg player X. <laughs> it's like come on, Stefano. It's very hard for Night End though come because on, he, he doesn't want to walk into the spines because fungal growth and. Hmm. Well, yeah, because nobody wants to walk into that many spines. It's it's just so efficient. The spine crawlers are such efficient uses of minerals, in my honest opinion. In the meantime, once again, wow, it's the... Straight into mortals picked off immediately. The Roach Infiltration Squad is doing what it does best. He's just sacking these roaches. He doesn't care if they survive, actually. Yeah, of course. And now Night End's like, all right, well, I don't care about my army. And then... Rah! Yeah, but now he's going to say, I don't care about my Nexus. And here he goes. Massive great engagement over here. Fungal's off to the right flank, but doesn't really grab all that much, and a big arc of fire. The Immortals are doing some damage here, and Stefano is holding on for the time being. He can reinforce, and he's doing so at a great rate, and that is a good Fungal right into the spines, yeah. and Night End's getting punished hard for this attack. Yeah, I, I don't really like that kind of style. G I mean, it just hasn't worked twice. That's it, that's it. Yeah, I that, don't know. I that don't style know. evidently doesn't work. Uh, I've got to say, certainly not against players of this caliber, and a scrappy game from those two, I feel, honestly. Yeah, it was a little bit weird for Night End to play that. I think if he just played a lot more straight up, you know, focused on the later game a lot more, you know, double upgrades and so on and so on, but that was weird. I mean, it's maybe he's had some really good success with it recently, but, and he's like, oh, well, I'm going to use my new strategy in, in this tournament and maybe win some Zerg plays, but it's not working out that well because Dark Force crushed it. Stefano crushed Absolutely annihilated. It. Yeah. It's... It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's, ew. I, I really can't sit one one upgrades for so long and no yeah. blink. You can't fight whatever's there. He'd be very good against, you know, Leia, I guess. But both of these Zerg players are very smart and very good and just got a hive. Uh. Yeah, I have to wonder, honestly, who he's been practicing their build against and who it's actually been working against because it evidently does not work against players of this caliber. Yeah. Just, oh, well. Well, there you go. What map is he going to choose next night end? He's got... That's the great thing. He can choose... What's map? Oh, yeah, it's Taldurim. I was going to say, what map can he choose? Yeah, okay. Taldurim's left, so. Which map can he take? I know, which map do you want? He's like, you. there's only Taldurim left, the Paul. I'm yep. like, oh. Incidentally, so. we're bringing our French caster back in, uh, but he's been fixing his delay by the looks of it, so we're going to give him another shot. If the delay is not working on his end, of course, we'll have to ask him to step out of the tournament because, well, he's not winning broadcast delay, so that'll be terrible. But apparently, Daily Motion has said that they've got 240 second delay, so that, sh Ooh. that should be okay. So we'll see. All right. Taldrim Ultra it is. Yes. Okay, Stefano just said one minute, just wants to get some water, so. Yep, that, that's cool. That's cool. It's not a problem. We will take a quick ad break. And if there is any lag problems, by the way, then please do report them via the report video problem button yeah. underneath. We do have a tech team from Twitch monitoring this tournament. Obviously, as far as we're aware, the lag's not coming from here, but I will check and see what's going on. Okay, folks, quick ad break, and we'll be right back.